well, the total for this game is sitting at 215. It opened at 216, dropped by a point. They just went over that number in game five. So, Nick, do you like the over again? Sure. Why not? I, I mean, the Clippers could shoot the hell out of the ball. I don't know if I can say that on here. I, I think I can. Uh, on any given night, I mean, they're, they're a team that has multiple 20-plus three-point made games in the playoffs. Uh, they're not afraid to shoot it at all. I mean, that that's kind of one thing that you could say about this team is they lost Kawhi Leonard. And it, it's a little bit of a cliche to say, you know, you, you play more freely, you know, when you don't have a guy like that. There's no expectations on this team, but they've completely embodied that. I mean, they're willing, everybody on this roster is pretty much willing to shoot at any time and they shoot with confidence. So I think the Clippers are, are, are playing a more open style of basketball. They're, they're not afraid to get up and down. Uh, I don't really worry about them, uh, you know, on this side, putting up points. Obviously, Phoenix struggled a little bit. Uh, in the last game. But but like you said, they did still push over. I think Chris Paul certainly has another level to go up in terms of efficiency. He's taking a lot of shots. He hasn't made a ton since he's come back. Booker's been a little bit iffy uh, since the broken nose. So uh, I, I think we see a, a fast-paced back-and-forth game that's really close, kind of the opposite uh, of what we saw on Saturday when we had that, you know, that low 80s slugfest. All right, Jules, you have to uh, make a decision here. Just so you know. My decision is that Nick needs to watch his gosh darn language when he's on this show. <laughs> um, I am going with the under in this All right. game. Uh, I think it turns back into more of a rock fight. Uh, the Clippers are not going to shoot a billion percent again. Um, Marcus Morris looked like Scotty Pippen. Reggie Jackson looked like Michael Jordan. And Paul George was better than both of them. Um, so I'll fade that happening. I will chase... Chris Paul controlling the pace of this game a little bit more like he did in those lower scoring ones. The one that we saw get down to 164 on the total. Um, my gut just tells me that, you know, the Clippers tighten up a little bit at home. This, uh, you know, gets a little bit more tense as the series kind of, kind of goes down the line and and this one stays under. I thought the last one was going to stay under uh, the Clippers came out red hot. I took an in-game under of, I think 224 that wound up uh, hitting I, I just think this time that that hot start isn't necessarily there, and and this one stays under. 